sigma is a statistical approach. The first and foremost, the most critical factor is to understand what kind of data you have. If you know your data, if you understand your data, a lot of work becomes much more easier when you start executing the project. Six Sigma is always identifying a practical problem, converting that practical problem into a statistical problem, solve that problem statistically, so find a solution statistically, and then convert that statistical solution into a practical solution. Let's now take a look at some of these data types. Types of data. The first one is quantitative data. Anything you can measure objectively are called quantitative data. For example, height. Height you can measure and record in various units like 6 feet, 5 feet, 4 feet, 3 feet. Another example is width, length, temperature, pressure, price, any amount, volume, etc. The second type of data are called qualitative data. This is any description or characteristics that can't be measured but can be observed subjectively. For example, taste, color, these you can't measure. Other examples are smell, texture. The quantitative data can be divided into two types, discrete data and continuous data. Let's look at the first one, which is discrete data. A discrete data is a data that cannot be further broken down or this data type that have a finite number of measurement and these are based on counts for example number of people count of errors number of defects yes or no the second type the continuous data this is the data that can be further broken down a continuous data can take on any value on a continuous scale. For example, time. Time can be on hours, minutes and seconds and it goes to infinite numbers. Height, feet, inches, fractions or fractions of an inch and so on. Weight, kilogram, gram, etc. Money, dollars, yens, euros and fractions. So these data can be broken down into any value and which can be measured on a continuous scale which will go up to infinity. Based on measurement scale, data can be further divided into four categories. The first one is nominal, ordinal, interval and ratio. Let's look at nominal. An example of nominal data are colors, blue, black, red, these are colors. And there is no specific order between these values, right? Blue can be first or red can be first or black can be first. And there is no difference of values between them. For example, blue minus red is nothing. And no absolute zero. There is nothing called zero red or zero blue. There's no zero value. The second type is ordinal data. For example, pass of a good, better or best. There is an order in this case, good comes first, then the better and the best. And again, no difference of values here. There's no difference between best minus good. No absolute zero. No lowest value in good, better or best. The third type is interval, an example is temperature, which can be measured in Celsius. So there is an order here. So if you look at 0 degree or 5 degree or 10 degree, this can be put in an order from 0 to 5 and then comes 10. And the difference is meaningful in this case, 5 minus 0 would be 5 and 10 minus 5 would be 5. No absolute zero for this data type. At zero degree Celsius, a temperature still exists in this case. The fourth type is ratio. Example is height, mass, volume. 
there is an order for example 4 feet comes first then 5 feet then the 6 feet and the difference is also meaningful 5 minus 4 is 1 and 6 minus 5 is 1 and the key difference here is there is absolute 0 0 height is the lowest value To summarize, nominal and ordinal are qualitative data, interval and ratio are quantitative data. If you are looking for certifications, please drop me an email at digitalpages.in at gmail.com. If you want to learn more on Six Sigma, Project Management Agile, Business Consulting, please subscribe my channel and hit the notification button.